98.1 WHPR, Highland Park. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey with your host, Will, and your co-host, the water cooler guru, FM 88.1 WHPR, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Live streaming at FM 881 WHPR.com. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, with the Water Cooler Guru. Good morning, Detroit. Good morning. Good to be back. That sounds a little better. Voice getting up there. Okay, he's a guru a little under the weather, but, you know, he's tr- a true old soldier. Old came, school. Came on in and, you know, going to try to do his thing today. So uh, feel free to call in uh, before we get into our topics, which is going to be, you know, Jeremy Lynn, the Red Wings. Pistons, you know, all that good stuff. King um, High School. Yeah, you know, so uh, before we get into our topic, let's have a word from our sponsor. Thank you, Will. Good morning, Detroit Sports Jersey fans. Thanks for joining us at FM 88.1 WHPR. It's a beautiful morning today, Sunday, February 19th, 2012. How would you like to lose a dress size in four weeks? Brian Chan is author of the ebook program called Cookie Fat Loss Method. He teaches eating more food, counting nutrients that help burn fat that 99% of traditional programs miss. Imagine being able to walk into a shop and buying clothes that are one to two dress sizes smaller than your current size and all your other clothes that you used to be able to fit into, you can now fit into. For more information on Brian's program, www.cookiefatlossmethod.com. That's www.cookiefatlossmethod.com. There's a free medical discount program called WellCard Health that offers up to 75% discounts on doctor, dental, vision, and prescription services at doctors and pharmacies throughout Detroit, including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 for your free card. A portion of all proceeds generated from this card will be donated to the Red Cross of Southeast Michigan. That's 800-285-5941 to get your card. For people and families with no insurance or with limited insurance, 800-285-5941. Detroit, save money on tickets. Pistons, Tigers, Red Wings, Craigslist, tickets.biz has great seats at low prices. Joe Lewis Arena tickets are on sale. For more information, 877-870-3668 for concert tickets. Comerica Park tickets now available. For more information, www.craigslisttickets.biz or for more information, 877-870-3668. You are listening to Detroit Sports Jersey live on FM 88.1 WHPR Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. And now back to host Will and co-host the water cooler guru. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, Guru, you need to order one of them products where you can lose some dress sizes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what you, you need to look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> get you a couple of them cookies. Now, I don't see, need to lose nothing. I need see, to gain a few pounds. I wouldn't mind seeing you in a tight fit dress. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, all righty. Uh, let's jump into it. Lynn Sanity, New York Knicks point guard. Uh, what you think? This is a one hit wonder, or this is somebody that's going to be in the league for a while? I think uh, they, he's a little bit overrated. Once the players start to get film on him and start to break down his weaknesses like was done Friday uh, against New Orleans at New York, uh, I think, you know, they have cooler head to prevail. And they're talking about Carmelo got to profile his game to lens. I mean, that's that's crazy to even say that. Well, his weakness is his turnovers. Average yeah, exactly. seven point, you know. You know, seven um, turnovers per game. So the that's his weakness right most there. Most ever for a player starting their first you know, five I, games. You know, he need to, I think he should settle down. I'm going to be honest with you. I really like him. I'm not caught up into this hype. Everybody want to bring the race card into it, you know, and 
like your boy um, Floyd Merriweather saying, you know, black people do this every day and don't get the notoriety. But I have to disagree for the simple fact black people have come into sports period every time they've done it got Look at what happened to Jackie Robinson. Look what happened to Muhammad Ali. Look what happened to Tiger Woods. So we got our due. I mean, we can't just every time somebody, you know what I'm saying, every day we're going to be, you know, per, you, know you know what I'm trying to right, say. Right, and went from yeah. Tebow to yeah. Lynn Sanders. Oh, that's another thing. Please stop that. Call in 313-868-3688. Please stop comparing him to Tim Tebow. I mean. But check it out. In baseball season, we're going to have another Tim Tebow. They're going to keep Tim Tebow alive. They're going to keep him alive until um, football <laughs> start back up. They gonna keep him alive. Hockey, there's going to be a Tebow in hockey sooner or later. <laughs> oh, man, well, they come on and stop it. But, no, I love him. I love him. I think he's going to be, you know, a great player in the league. And, you know, he can play. No, he can play now. Hold on. But that's the, that's oh, the slow, slow, slow your roll. Okay, go ahead. Go no, roll. All of a sudden, now, he didn't been in the league two years, mm. did nothing. Then all of a sudden, five games with nobody there but him, and all he do is just shoot the ball no. and play. Whoa, well, slow down. Now, slow, slow your roll. Um, all of a sudden, now, once the superstars get back and his touch is going to go down, but his turnovers are still going to be the same, I don't think his numbers are going to be the same. But what I'm saying is I don't care about the numbers. See, there you go with that stat stuff uh, again. Well, listen. If, check guy, out, listen. If he wasn't scoring, G, and they wasn't okay. winning games, we, we wouldn't be talking Can about we agree it. on this? With the comparison for Tim Tebow and him, he can really play. He can play right, basketball. Right, 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 he right, can right. actually play basketball. Right, right. Well, huh? well, he, can, <laughs> he can shoot the ball. Yeah, I mean, I'm not putting right. him like you know the next Michael Jordan. I'm not putting him on that pedestal or that level. I'm just saying he right. actually can play basketball compared exactly. to Tim Tebow can't play quarterback. Can we? Well, no, we keep in position. He can play. Lynn can play point guard. Yeah, exactly. Tebow can't Tebow, play Tebow, right. He can, I mean, that's all Tebow. I'm saying. Right. You know, I mean, I'm not putting him, you know, blowing him up. Hey, like, hey, check it out. If you transfer his numbers to Tebow numbers, he'll probably be averaging one point a game, 15 turnovers. You know what I mean? His numbers would be You know what over. I want to transfer? Some lotion and down your throat, man. <laughs> what the? <laughs> that's what I want to transfer. See, I'm working under duress. <laughs> that's the problem. That's why I lost my voice. All this well, stress on me. I know. Your problem is you got them 50-pound chains around your neck <laughs> and it's choking you and you can't breathe. If you release some of them chains, you can get some air in your throat and you Hold can it. talk. This, this Black History Month, man, I'm celebrating my, my oh, ancestors. Oh, 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 where your shackles at, then? <laughs> when do, wait a minute. When did the ancestors have gold and diamonds? And, uh, well, well, you know, we're making it seem, you know, we was proud. We were proud. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. But, um, yeah, getting back to um, New York, um, like I said, you know, he really, you know, it's a shame. He got exposed against all of all teams the other night. Charlotte. I thought maybe no, today New they put Orleans. New Orleans. Orleans. I'm sorry, New Orleans. Yeah, you're right, New Orleans. They lost um, 89-85. But uh, my thing is this. I thought maybe, you know, they played Dallas today, so I thought maybe that was going to be their true test. I mean, if he played like that against New Orleans, I can imagine what Dallas is going to do to him. Yeah, they're going to let the pressure down. And another thing, too, uh, I was watching the highlights of the game, and they were showing how teams – you know, the more games you play, now they defend for him. They cut the paint off. And a lot of times he wants to jump in the air and make a pass. And that's the first Cardinal sin of being a point guard. And um, unlike you, I don't play the race card into this. <laughs> but uh, ESPN should be ashamed of themselves saying, here go the chink in the armor. Oh, yeah, they should really be. This is ESPN. They apologize for that. So thing. what? They, you know why they apologize? Because the uh, – the uh, marketing people, the commercial people, the uh, advertisers was getting on them. The agencies, the companies. Other than that, they tried to let that slide. No, G money. No, no, no. I, no, I can't put. Why it would you say it then? If that one individual might have uh, felt that way, but you, you still can't working say for there. You still and that's who said it. You still working here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause hen dog loves me. <laughs> That's why I'm still working here. Shout out to Hen Dog. <laughs> you know, but I ain't called nobody no chink. Now, I have some few words in my, you know. Exactly, man. You're talking you, about you, the lines like a dog. But I ain't calling them no racial slurs. I didn't go racial with it. I talked about I left it on the field and they play. I didn't take it personal. Well, you was kind of slighted with your comments about Tebow. 
What about if him? Tebow was a black quarterback, you wouldn't be saying that. Oh, yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you I done said it about a lot of black quarterbacks, including black quarterbacks that play for the Lions. The Charlie Batches, the Rodney Peace, the Andre Wears. Are you serious? I ain't never went off. I mean, come on. I only had one great quarterback ever in my lifetime, and everybody know who he is. Joe Montana. And it has nothing. And he's a white guy. Hello. So what are you saying? I'm prejudiced against blacks? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're saying? I'm prejudiced against blacks? I don't like the black athletes? Uh, no, I didn't say that. No more. Uh, what, you say, what you saying then? You, you, know, that little, that little, you know, that little street come out of you every now and then. What street? Well, I just like, for instance, let me give you a prime, prime example. You remember the governor, uh, George Wallace? Yes. You know, one of the most... He stood on the steps at the University of Alabama and said a black person would never go there. So what you trying to say? I was well, standing with him? No. <laughs> what you trying to say? You might have been. <laughs> what about, what? No, 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 no. Uh, about five years later, he was trying to recruit a black quarterback to go to uh, Alabama. You know what? You better hurry up and eat some of them cookies. I think your dress is on too tight. No, no, no. <laughs> no my your... point being is guys like y'all, y'all jump, y'all jump back and forth. Oh, what? Race? Yeah, right. I call it right down the middle. <laughs> I'm not racist. I call it right down the middle. And everybody know this about me. You know, I might tilt the scales here and there towards one side. I didn't hear I didn't have private conversations with your time, man. You know, but I love all. I love all people. Yeah. Mr. And Charlie all, Mr. Now Mr. Charlie, one of your favorites. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking Mr. about. Mr. Charlie ain't a racist statement. I don't know. It never came out of my mouth. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What are you talking about? All right, uh, Bill Clinton. What is this? What? Never. Never. I love Mr. Charlie. That's my best friend. We do business together. Uh, huh? Man, what are you talking about? Yeah, George Wallace. Man, y'all. Yo, yo. Speaking of that, uh, you know, when we come back from our break here, about to take a few words, take a pause for the call. Lovely announcer over there. We're going to uh, get some of these. shout out to King Boys and Girls, City Champs, 2012. Oh, yeah. One more thing I want to say. Uh, I want to say rest in peace again to Whitney, H- Whitney Houston. She's up there singing in the choir now with God today, Sunday morning. What a beautiful thing. So rest and, in and peace. And y'all don't be so hard on Bobby. And, and let me tell you something else. Don't just quit hating. All these people out here burning flags, name calling. Come on, quit it, quit it. Let let it go. I mean, the lady's dead. Let, I mean, let her rest in peace. Quit hating. You know, cause you never made it. You might have went on American Idol or the Gong Show, depending <laughs> your age. You know, and you you just didn't quite get it. You know, don't hate on her, cause she had a beautiful voice. You know, you cause you thought you sounded good in the shower. You know, like yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you singing alone in the car, you know, so now you think, you know, you got it, can take it to that next level, and it just didn't quite work out, you know, so just let the lady rest in peace, you know, and, you know, quit knocking Bobby Brown, the family, she's, daughter, daughter still got to hear all this stuff, so let it go, people, I mean, yeah, I got love some of you home. people done been at funerals where the person laying in the cask has been no good, Probably owed you money. You showed up. <laughs> you showed up just to make sure he was dead or she was dead. He was not. You know might, what I'm saying? Might get your money back from one of the relatives. You, know, you standing in there boo hooing and crying. Because so, he didn't pay you. So let, 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 let it go, people. Stop judging. You know, you're probably sitting right next to a bum. You wishing was in the cast. And I probably owe you money. Stole something from you last night. Ate, you, ate your last piece of pizza big chicken you know it's something that you mad about you looking at him or her right now so stop it let the lady rest in peace now we come back we're going to talk about fans versus players for right now we're going to have a word from our sponsor thank you will good morning detroit sports jersey fans thanks for joining us at fm 88.1 whpr it's a beautiful morning today sunday february 19th 2012 how would you like to lose a dress size in four weeks? Brian Chan is author of the ebook program called Cookie Fat Loss Method. 
He specializes in helping women lose a dress size in four weeks, guaranteed, without counting calories, no restricting foods, and no spending hours in the gym. He specializes also in teaching by eating cookies, chocolates, cakes, other desserts, and exercising little but focused. If you never really had any luck with diets, calorie counting, and personal trainers, then you should definitely check it out as this is for women who are currently struggling to lose their belly fat and drop a dress size in the next four weeks, guaranteed. For more information on Brian's program, www.cookiefatlossmethod.com. That's cookiefatlossmethod.com. There's a free medical discount program called WellCard Health that offers up to 75% discounts on doctor, dental, vision, and prescription services at doctors and pharmacies throughout Detroit, including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 for your free card. A portion of all proceeds generated from this card will be donated to the Red Cross of Southeast Michigan. That's 800-285-51, excuse me, that's 800-285-5941 to get your card. For people and families with no insurance or with limited insurance, 800-285-5941. Detroit, save money on tickets, pistons, tigers, red wings. Craigslisttickets.biz has great seats at low prices. Joe Lewis Arena tickets are on sale. For more information, 877-870-3668 for concert tickets. Comerica Park tickets now available. For more information, www.craigslisttickets.biz or for more information, 877-870-3668. You are listening to Detroit Sports Jersey live on FM 88.1 WHPR Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. And now back to host Will and co-host the water cooler guru. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Once again, thanks to our sponsor. And uh, just in case, you know, you missed our sponsor and you wasn't prepared with a uh, pen or paper. You know, uh, we like I said, we download this show every Sunday at DetroitSportsJersey.com. So you can go back and watch the past shows and get all the uh, sponsors information. You, you know, we upload it. What I say, download? We upload it. I love it, see. They don't even download no more. That's how old I am, see. <laughs> yeah, George. <laughs> they don't even download. Um, also, I'm going to give a shout-out to the uh, Navy, Marines, Army, and Air Force tomorrow. We'll be going worldwide, 8 million online viewers. The guru. You know, <laughs> and uh, so I'd like to give a shout-out to their uh, military folks out there. Got military in the family, you know, brother, his wife, Sunshine. Give a shout-out to everybody. I'm a veteran, too, while you talking. Okay, 60 days don't count as no veteran. <laughs> I'm a veteran. Uh, you didn't even make it out of San Diego. <laughs> they, they begged you to go home. Line, they man. begged. I'm a legend they, over there, man. They paid you here, man. Take whatever. Yeah, Just get out gone, of here. They were scared of me, man. Okay, before we move on, also I want to give a um, shout-out to uh, Detroit Country Day Girls High School. They ranked 24th in the country. So I'm going to give a shout-out to them. What? Basketball, the high school, high school basketball girls. They ranked 24th in the country. Yeah, so I'm going to um, give them a shout-out and, you know, go ahead and um, bring it all the way home. If you rank number 24, let's keep climbing that ladder. Get up to number one. What about King and Persian? Sir, I'm sorry. I don't do the rankings. I just get a shout outs. Oh, okay. Now, if you, if you, if you, you got to vote in that situation. Now, we we need you. to review the tape. See, this is where your prejudice comes in. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what a shock you, to race only, card. Call in 313-868-3688 if you want to play yours. <laughs> the Lord knows the guru have plenty. How many you say you have? 52? Hey, hold on. <laughs> you have never gave a shout out to a high school on the show up until right now. No, 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 no. And then you give a shout out to a suburban. Because you know, I just happened to be reading a nationally known oh, paper that I didn't, I'm not going to give, you know, oh, say, okay. but I noticed they was in there and it kind of shocked me. So I said, okay, let me, you know, put this in my little memory brain. Well, that's I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget it, but <laughs> same thing. Well, by the way, uh, Detroit Country Day, they played Persian and they, they beat Persian because they wouldn't let Persian's coach coach the game. For some, for well, what they got to do with the players on the uh, 
court. They still got to do their job. I don't care. What if the coach uh, as, accidentally, um, we hope uh, this never happened, when well, you went to the hospital or uh, passed away. So. And feel how important it means for the coach to be out there. Oh, so you comparing him to Phil? Pardon him. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's, let's, Baby let's, Phil. Let's move on. Uh, feel free to call in 313-868-3688. Detroit Sports Jersey with your host, Will, and the Water Cooler Guru. Let's talk about this subject here, fans versus players. You know, fans feel because they spend the money to go to these games. They can say whatever they want to to the players, and the players shouldn't be able to, you know, say anything well, I back. To- I totally disagree with that. And the reason I'm bringing this up because um, the other night when Miami was in Washington, this fan in Washington, oh, no, obviously, you know, People have no manners. But hold on, let's take this call. <laughs> Detroit Sports Jersey, name and where you calling from. You live on the air. What's up, man? This is Longhorn. <laughs> Longhorn, you ain't calling in to get me kicked off the air like you almost <laughs> did last week, are you? <laughs> you, you, ain't, you ain't calling to finish the job. <laughs> so what can we do for you? <laughs> Oh, man, y'all are crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you fired the guy from ESPN this morning. Who? Oh, I got you, who? The, the lynch in the armor. Oh, well, yeah, you he should him. be. He should be. What can we do for you, Longhorn? I don't want to shout out to the, the Chicago Bulls. You know, tearing it up up there, boy. You say the Chicago Bulls? That's right. Y'all better recognize. If I'm not mistaken, as of yesterday, the Miami Heat took over the lead in the conference. As of yesterday. As of yesterday. No, the Miami Heat is twenty four seven. Chicago Bulls twenty five and eight. Ooh, and right, we'll go and go look at the standings. Miami's the percentage points ahead of them. Ooh. Miami's in number one spot. Ooh, guru. No, I'm yeah, t- 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 <laughs> you pull the standings. Pull the standings. You, you in compete. trouble? No, <laughs> don't pull the standings up. Guru yeah, they, knows they, all. They may, the number, they may be the number one seed, but uh, that's all good. You know what I'm saying? It's so go, I mean, Longhorn. You nope. take. So who you saying? Chicago gonna win it all? Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, we man. got you. We got you on um tape. Do we still have tape? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, man, we don't put this on no intro. <laughs> <laughs> you got me in the satellite world. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what <laughs> we talk? <laughs> hey, good, I mean, um, Longhorn. What we talking about is fans versus players. Do you? How do you feel about that? Where fans think they can just talk, you know, any way they want to to the players. Without any, you know. Repercussion. There you go. That's the big words on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Say, I got to take mine slow. I got to ease into my big words during the week. <laughs> so what do you think about that? You know what? If I was a professional player, all I do for a fan who's talking smack is just say, bring it to the court, bring it to the diamond, bring it to the field, and, and show me what you got. You know what I'm saying? If you can, if you can not play me, then you can talk all the junk you want. If not, and just sit at home, watch me on national TV, get mad, and then go to your nine to five job the next <laughs> one. See, the reason I bring this up because his fan went off on LeBron about that little situation where the player was sleeping with LeBron mama. So you know, of course, he gonna call LeBron out on the court, you know, and tell him, you know, let's go, you know, let's, you know, we can, you know, get it on right here. And LeBron response was the only reason you talking bleep is because you know. I can't come off the court right now and beat your bleep. <laughs> you know, so I'm on LeBron's side on this one. But you know what? As far as the fan goes talking that stuff, man, that's just a scream hatism right there. You know what I'm saying? Well, Who LeBron Who should have said, well, well, thank you, sir, for, you know, working hard for the week, paying your, you know, your money to come watch these bombs we playing and, <laughs> big and big bank takes little bank all day long, but he got in trouble for saying something like that before. Then he told everybody to go home today. Pathetic lifestyle, you <laughs> yeah. But you I know the, the fans you know, go a little bit too far. I want to be real, real cruel about it. He could have just turned around and said, "You just mad because your mama wasn't get wasn't getting by a player." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, nine times out of ten, it's mostly I believe it's because he tried, like I said, to be you know a basketball player. He didn't get no further than the 4-H club. So, you know, he going 
get mad at everybody that's successful in basketball now. You know, he was always the last person picked. Exactly. You know, on the street ball, you know, you'd be like, oh, God, is it him got or the dog? Took is it him or the hey, dog? Got man took his ball. <laughs> now, hey, I, I, got, I got one better than that. Remember you used to go to the ball court, there's only one ball that people playing ball with? Yes. And the guy who didn't get picked because he got mad, he took the ball and went home? That's what Guru just said, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I'm reading from the same script. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All righty, um, Longhorn, what else can we do for you? Oh, that's it, man. I just call to give y'all a shout-out, man. You had me rolling this morning. I Talking about somebody owes somebody up for a big piece of chicken. <laughs> or owe them some money. <laughs> that's all they mad about, Whitney Houston. That's all. <laughs> You know, how can you, you know, sit up and hate on the lady? You know, she, her and lifestyle. She away. Her lifestyle is her lifestyle. I mean, she didn't, and the people that's mad, right? They mad. I mean, what did she do to you? She don't owe you no money. Did you, nothing. You know, you don't even know her. She gave you beautiful music. Exactly. You, you know, probably made some babies by some of my music. You, know, <laughs> you, you got know. that right, Guru. <laughs> you know, so come on, people. That's all I'm saying, man. Let the lady rest in peace. Stop all this, you know. Everybody got to play the victim role, you know, and let's let that go. That's all. That's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, they just hate. You know, that's, haters, that's their job. That's their job is to hate. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. They, probably get up, they probably get up hating this morning because down here in Texas it's real nice and 60, 65 degrees and sun shining. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm hating. Hate. I'm mean, getting up. Ain't I'm mad. I gotta go outside. It's cold. <laughs> <in them. laughs> well, you done got me mad now. <laughs> All, right, All right, then. Appreciate you calling in. Have a good week, I'll man. And I, hey, I'll enjoy the sunshine for you. And I'll shoot some of this sun up there through the through the uh, through the through the internet. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Thanks for calling in. Hey, Wallacoo Guru. Yo. Hey, do you still do you still playing the spreads on these games or you or you winning loss columns now? Oh, we was only doing football. We we weren't doing basketball. Uh, I bet you a pop in Chicago's gonna take it. No gambling okay, we, on the air. No we, gambling on okay, the we air. We got a pop on the air. He already done already had to pawn his um laptop. <laughs> <laughs> The last time he better the pop, he cost my 49ers a chance to go to the Super Bowl. So, please, he, he's not allowed to bet no more. He, if he want to put a bet on, he got to go do like everybody else, be wicked Mac. <laughs> hey, with the, hey, with the incense, man. Exactly. <laughs> he got to put in his bet through him, the incense, man. <laughs> All right, y'all take it easy. Bro. All right, All right take it later. easy later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All righty, all right. So, um, you know what? Another thing I want to, while we still on basketball, mm -hmm. how can AI blow through $150 million? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Staples commercial? Yeah. He just pushed the easy button. <laughs> $150 million. But he ain't alone. Uh, yeah. I mean, look how many other athletes in blue. Cecil Field or... Uh, What's the dude, the Walker from Boston? What's his name? Uh, oh, uh, I know, uh, Antoine Walker. Antoine Walker. I mean, we can go on. Uh, Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson. I mean, we can go on. The more I'm going to put a little asterisk by Mike Tyson because I think he got more ripped off than anything than blowing money. I think he got a difference? little ripped off. Well, it's what, different, but you're getting ripped off, and you blowing your money. The yeah. bottom line is I want to blow my own, but I don't want you to blow it for me. <laughs> can I blow my own? He called himself blowing his own when he bought that, what was it, 52-room mansion with 40 uh, bathrooms. Oh, Don bought that and said that was your check for the fight. Here you go. Here you go right there, Mike, right there. It's, 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 yeah, he it there. cost $300 million, But well, Charles Barkley did the same thing. You remember when he first signed his contract, his agent was giving him an allowance and spending all the money. Who his agent was? Yeah. And spending Charles. Well, he's the dummy. I'm not giving anybody all my money. Come on, let's keep that Come on, now you didn't give them everybody all your money when you was working a little, you know. Everybody, you know, even Charles Barkley, everybody had a little job, you know, when they was high school. You didn't give now you weren't giving everybody your money then. Uh, Why would you give everybody your money? Something's now? wrong with that picture. You know exactly. Now. You're giving me a lot, <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, all right, when we come back, we're gonna talk about. Uh, we're gonna go into the NFL. 
big thing jumped off this week. Chris Carter versus Randy Moss. We'll be back. I'll get into more details when we come back. Thank you, Will. Good morning again, Detroit Sports Jersey fans. Thanks for joining us at FM 88.1 WHPR. It's a beautiful morning today, Sunday, February 19th, 2012. How would you like to lose a dress size in four weeks? Brian Chan is the author of the ebook program called Cookie Fat Loss Method. He teaches eating more food, counting nutrients that help burn fat that 99% of traditional programs miss. Imagine being able to walk into a shop and buying clothes that are one to two dress sizes smaller than your current size and all your other clothes that you used to be able to fit into, you can now fit into. For more information on Brian's program, www.cookiefatlossmethod.com. That's cookiefatlossmethod.com. There's a free medical discount program called WellCard Health that offers up to 75% discounts on doctor, dental, vision, and prescription services at doctors and pharmacies throughout Detroit, including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 for your free card. A portion of all proceeds generated from this card will be donated to the Red Cross of Southeast Michigan. That's 800-285-5941 to get your card. For people and families with no insurance or with limited insurance, 800-285-5941. Detroit, save money on tickets, pistons, tigers, red wings. Craigslisttickets.biz has great seats at low prices. Joe Lewis Arena tickets are on sale. For more information, 877-870-3668 for concert tickets. Comerica Park tickets now available. For more information, www.craigslisttickets.biz or for more information, 877-870-3668. You are listening to Detroit Sports Jersey live on FM 88.1 WHPR Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313 868 3688. And now back to host Will and co host the water cooler guru. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, I'd like to thank those sponsors very much for uh, joining um, Detroit Sports Jersey. And once again, like I said, if you missed those uh, uh, information on the uh, sponsors, like I said, we um, upload the show every Sunday. So you can go there, <laughs> watch the show, watch the show, and get more information on the sponsor just in case you wasn't ready, you know, for, uh, you know, you have a pen or paper ready, you know. And uh, I'm going to get Guru that cookie so I can see him in that tight fitting <laughs> dress in four weeks. I'm going to get him some, get that diet cookies and a dress. We're going to go shopping for him, baby. We're going to, you know, what's your favorite color, Guru? <laughs> <laughs> you want some heels or flats with that? <laughs> I'm under the rest. See what I'm saying? You know, do. Y'all see why I don't have a voice, don't you? I keep telling you what's wrong with your voice. You we got need that a tow union. truck train, we, we train around union. your neck. <laughs> we need a union. I need a union. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, before I get into uh, the Chris Carter. You know, of course, Randy Moss talking about he want to come back to the NFL. Right. I'm going to take off to a little sidebar here with <laughs> these college um, players. Just what happened this week with TCU, the football players that got caught got for me. selling drugs, oh, not for selling drugs to the undercover cop. Do you think this is more reason now for them to pay them or so they can stop doing these little, you know? A legal activity. Has nothing to do with the players being paid. But what I'm just saying, though, if you think that they will, they probably they cut were selling, down on the temptation. Basically, that's what I'm no, saying. No, they probably were selling drugs before they got. So there. what you trying to say? If they pay them, they'll take that money and want to flip it. And you have to <laughs> 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 well, I mean, That's what it sounds like you saying. <laughs> <laughs> they were selling dope before they got the TCU. <laughs> oh yeah, four players got. Just in case y'all didn't know, four players got caught this week selling, you know, marijuana, cocaine, pills. You, you don't know what they were selling. Yes, I do. It's right here in the paper, brother. I read. See, you don't read. Oh, yes, you do. You like to read when you come to work. I forgot. <laughs> you don't like to read at home on your free time. Well, this is today's yeah, paper. Yeah, I'm you know. <laughs> so, uh, 
Yeah, so do you think they should be paid? I mean, the no, cop, no. Why not? Because it would be unfair. What would happen would be the more uh, teams with the most money, the colleges, I should say. No, there's a flat limit. There's a limit. There's a flat limit. Ain't no one more can outbid. We're not outbidding each uh, other. There's well, a flat it, straight across. It's called the under the table. Uh -huh. If I'm giving you two thousand above the table, I'm gonna give you well, another two thousand. Okay, well, okay. Now, if you get caught doing that, you deserve to be put on probation. There's no excuse okay, now. Okay, right now you deserve to get down. kicked me, off the ticket. Now you have no excuse. Today, right now, is nothing over the table, mm -hmm. and we still got money under the table. Yeah, because they're so not getting gonna, nothing on the table. That's why they're doing stuff. The under the table gonna be there. No, no, no. I have to disagree. I have to disagree. Because I know I'm gonna get two thousand legit above, and then I can go to Oklahoma. And get king. And if you like, I said, and, and if and if you get king. caught, you deserve to get the um. Not you know what? Well, I will give them. I will give them the death penalty like <laughs> they did um SMU. <laughs> Evidently, paying players has not stopped in the last what a hundred years. I saw so, legally, legally. Right, exactly. If you set it across the board, you don't have to worry about the under table. And like I said, and if you Why? get caught, because you know what, I you got man, these are still kids, man, and they bring up put all this money in front of the kids. Of course, they gonna take it. Come on. Not unless you know, you know, was a privileged guy like the Grand Hills, and whoa, you whoa, know. Whoa, 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 slow down. Let me understand this. You say if I put money in front of them, they'll take it. But if I put a little bit, just a little small one in front of them, let them take that. Well, when I bring that big stack, they're gonna say, No, no, no. I got the little stack. Now what okay. I'm now what I'm saying is here. Now, what, saying. what I'm saying is here. Listen here. Let's say they put. Let's say what. Three thousand dollars for the whole season on the table, okay? We're gonna be a little more than that. Like, I'm just this is an you example. Three, 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 I'm talking about per player. It'd definitely be. Listen, three thousand dollars. Let's just as an example. I give you three thousand dollars. I tell you, okay, here go your money. You know, you don't have to worry about going out here messing with no boosters. Right. You know, all you have to do is focus on your books and then football. Right. You don't have to get worried about getting right. caught up in right. no scams. But if you choose. To go outside this three thousand that we are giving you to play, like I said once mm -hmm. again, just an example. There is a consequence, and it's called the death penalty. And I'm sitting telling you not only the player, but I'm telling the coach, I'm telling the athletic director, I'm telling everybody at the university. If you go outside this three thousand dollars, there's the death penalty. It's as simple as that. Now who gonna risk that? Who gonna risk losing uh, their I'm, whole, their whole? I'm glad you said that. Okay. I'm glad. Who's going to risk that? Prime example. Let, let me talk now. Prime example is SMU. They got the death penalty, right? Exactly. So you would figure after that point, schools know it's a possibility I can get the death penalty. So why since SMU, that stopped nothing? Players because are still being paid. No, no. That no. stopped nothing. See, see but you're you realizing something. Now I'm offering you something legally. I'm giving you something legally. Money I'm legally. All, I'm already so, giving so, you one. I'm already giving you. I'm giving you a scholarship so, that's worth about $150,000. I'm feeding you okay. because you feed free. Okay. You know, all the gym shoes that you can wear, okay. I'm giving them to you. Okay. And all the little girls on the campus because, you know, you wear my uniform. You got all the little girlies. So uh, okay. what, what's the difference? Stop bring at the end. Stop bringing your personal dreams into this. <laughs> <laughs> the little girlies now. We ain't asking. Don't know no, 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 your fantasies in it. Oh, the boosters have been known to bring, get the little girl when the guys come for the little visit. Okay, now listen here. You say one hundred and fifty thousand in scholarship, mm -hmm. food money. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me give you an estimated figure and say all of that comes up to two hundred thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. You selling my jersey for four years and done made a million dollars off my jerseys. I done put people butts in these seats right. and f sold out every stadium. True. So True that, that True. million I done made you, and you going to throw $150,000 in my face? Are you serious? And I done made you whoa, a million? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I done whoa, made whoa. you Slow a million? Down. Slow down a minute. Uh, I did not put a gun to your head and told you to come to my university. Oh, yes, you did. You came no, knocking no. on my door. Uh, with no gun. Yeah, huh. Right. Yeah. If you come here and, uh -huh. and start my university for four years, I will make you a millionaire. So you That's what I'm going to do for you. So what you tell I don't need to give you no money under the table because four years from now, you're going to have plenty of money on the table. You know what I'm getting table. out of your story? What? You like to be pimped. <laughs> <laughs> you like to be pimped. <laughs> oh, oh, so me, so... Uh, me no, no, no. You I'm, a, I'm your pimp. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm making a hundred. I'm making a million dollars off of you. I got you out there walking the streets, 
and you bring it, you bringing me a million, and I give you one hundred and fifty thousand. You can't sign up fast oh, okay, enough for okay, my oh, Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad you said that because you pimping me more. Because check this out. Exactly, I'm your pimp. No, 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 exactly. no, no, no. I'm talking about the university because when you leave here, four, four years when you leave here, you gonna be a millionaire. I don't know. You is because you're a star athlete at my school and you graduated from the SEC. You started four years. You're going to be a millionaire. No. Let me ask you a question. Well, I mean, I'm stuck the numbers here. are low no. compared to me and as a I'm, university and I'm money stuck every on year. I'm I got 12 players. Let's say with a basketball team. I'm stuck here I got with my $50,000 hour job. I got 12 players. Well, you players. sitting there, you know. I got players. I know it's the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's the phone. <laughs> Detroit Sports Jersey, you're live on the air. Name it where you're calling from. Yeah, this is the Longhorn again, man. Uh, <laughs> you again. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no hey, job, hey, nothing you know, to do, got, how to watch. <laughs> Look, when you when you got good topics and good subjects you're talking about, I got to comment on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And I think that the players in the college ranks should get paid to play ball. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You get, like you say, you get, you get jerseys, they buy jerseys of the name of the school, not only the name of the player, so they getting exposure, right? Oh, that's free advertisement when you buy the jersey. The school getting and free advertisement. Y'all missing a big and point. Then, and then not only that, check this out. When those players get drafted for the pro, then then they got then they go out to these high schools and talk to these other high school uh, superstars and say, look, if you come to my high college, you may get looked at for the pros like me. So they still working for the college, and they and they just give them the college education and say, oh, that should be enough. Man, they should give them college education and give them some papers for doing all that. You know what I mean? And then, because you see, because people always want to say, "Well, I'm giving you this scholarship, right?" But dig this. Let's stay with the basketball team since they got the you know twelve players. Yeah. We just I'm making a million dollars off of their jersey. That's twelve million dollars a year, and it keeps going every year because every student is coming and going. So that's guaranteed. The student okay. that gets the degree, let me throw this the, out the there. numbers are low. That they're gonna be millionaires. The let, numbers, let me, the school are gonna be millionaires every year, every day. The yeah, not on that. The athletes are not going to be millionaires, not not a large percentage of them. The universities are 100% going to be millionaires, from the community colleges all the way up to the big universities. And you better believe somebody still wearing Jordan's no, uh, George jersey from when he played at the Tar Heels. And then he was okay. talking about the, all the shoes I'm, they giving. You know, that you ain't giving. I just got one number to show you. What's that? What did I say? 154000 Million. Million, okay. I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Iverson, off the four million that the university made off him, he turned that four million into one hundred and fifty four million for himself. I don't I look like to me, he pimp you Georgetown University. Wait a minute, wait a minute, okay, wait a minute. Okay, let me ask you a question. When you, Georgetown, when he went to Georgetown, twelve players on that team, did all twelve players of them get one hundred and fifty four million? No. But did the university get their millions every I'm day out. and every year? I'm yes. Quite, I'm quite Case closed. It's been, <laughs> out. it's been more million dollar Georgetown basketball players. No, no, let's stick with the players there on his team. Allen Irison. How many of them players I, I to, out of that 12 I need to Google got that team. Wait, 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 $154 million? I don't know off the top of my head. I'm going to say none but him. <laughs> um, but some of them might have made I, millions. I, I tell you what. I tell you what. You may come to me if, I, if I'm a, a good player, I'm going to be like Jerry Maguire. Show me the money, coach. Show me the money. And then I'm going to tell you something I'm else. I'm glad he said that. You see what he said? Show me the money, coach. Because oh. <laughs> when, when you start paying them guys, the guy, the, the schools that can pay the most money, because that's what the man's going to say, show me the and money. And I'll tell you something else about the universities, right? Let me tell you something else about the universities. After the players leave the university, and let's just say, they ain't got caught up in no scams or nothing like that. You know, straight across the board, athletes. Let's let's go out on there. I'm going to pull one out the top of my head. Some guy like Joe Montana that went to Notre Dame University. You, Some guy like Joe. You know, I'm just saying. I guarantee you, you can go to Notre Dame University and still buy Joe Montana's jersey. And it's benefiting the university, not, not Joe. Not, not only that, check this out. How much money do the coaches make? And they don't even run up and down the court. Well, it depends on, you know, they're very from what, 150 to millions. You know, it depends. Yeah, but, yeah, you but, know, they ain't they no welfare cases now. No, no, no. no you know, because my man in Wayne State just signed. He got, he, they just renewed no, his no, contract. No. And he making 150000 a year. 
Yeah, no, no, they, I see, no, they, they put it in the paper. It's like, like three or four years, 150000 a year. So that's what he made. Because you can imagine Wayne State with these other, you know. So it's not no welfare money. You're looking about right. three, three, four Gs a week. I take that. Well, you know, most coaches probably making about a million. Yeah, yeah. About College that. coaches, that's what the average is. Exactly. So I'm telling you, man, these players need to be paid. No. Because, uh, like I said, the rich universities would get richer because they would cheat but, more. They're but, cheating but, now. And then uh -huh. if you get caught cheating, you get the death penalty. So that don't mean nothing to them. The cheating has not slowed down since they created the death penalty. Oh, I agree. But, uh, I agree. Uh, but if, I'm telling you, if you put it across the board, the legal stuff. Yeah, but right now, you can get the death penalty. You, you know but why? There's, there's, there's no fear. They're doing illegal stuff. It's just like with alcohol. They were still doing that. People moonshine until they made it legal. Now it's very yeah, it's still people moonshining. Yeah, you're right, but There's look, it done cut down very tremendously. Go down south, then on tremendously. Like, you been up north too long. <laughs> no. yeah. Moonshining ain't slowed down not one iota. When the last time you been down south? <laughs> when the last time you been down there? Matter fact, I'm going down there. Uh, speaking of, I'm going down south. Y'all can check me out down there. What day is that again? Uh, March the eighth, I'll be down in Nashville, Tennessee. And tell him that get. I bet you he can get some moonshine on any corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you know what, Guru? You know what? When you when you said that uh the the, the 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 college that can pay the most money don't get the best players, right? Right. So now since they don't pay no money to the players, all they do is go to these high schools and say, look, we had so many so many draft picks come out of our college. We get so much TV exposure from our college. Just take Duke, for example. True. You know, North Carolina. So True. They, ain't giving us, they, they ain't giving us high school players money to come to their school, but they give them an exposure, which is the same thing as saying you come to Yeah, but check it out. If you, like honestly if you honestly believe that these guys are not getting paid because we didn't have several substantiated reports, they're paying the athletes under the Listen, table. I understand that's going on. They're paying them. Yes, we got that. But I'm saying I it think is. it would cut down a lot. If, no, 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 if they players, I'm not saying 100 percent, but I bet you them numbers would drop. No, let's say let's they, say did know they, did a, they did a study. I'm getting this information from a study that, that they did took place. Oh, from We're, another poll. Yeah, oh, you was involved in this poll. Uh, <laughs> Where the hell you go, was involved? Said, <laughs> this poll. The people thinking paying the athletes to solve everything, but the schools they can't pay because uh, all schools can't afford to pay the players. Yeah, that's yeah, where, that's whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, that's where you take that bold that's money when they divide it up in the conference. That's where that let, money comes let me from. Throw, let me throw the race card out here. Nah. Them, <laughs> good, them good old boys that control them bold like that ain't letting you get none of that money. No, nah, but it's going to be across the board. G money, I they want their own money. They don't want it across the board. Nah. Otherwise, well, we I have playoff. Like if they wanted the money across the board, we have a playoff right now. Oh, well, they get to that now. They get to that now. The next, what, 2014 is going to be a 14 playoff system. And they're keeping all their balls. You know? They said, we're going to let you have a playoff, but we're keeping every ball. Yeah, of course. So that's because. And you're going to have a championship. Because that's around the ball. so every team in the conference can benefit from the money. When Michigan and Michigan State go to the Rose Bowl and win it and get them million, they that, that $4 million ain't all there. They got to split up as much the conference. Right, and, and when seven teams go to a bowl, right. like they saying. So you take that money. Seven out of ten teams. Well, seven out of twelve teams. Okay, I'll tell, tell you what. Keep that bowl money. And what about my jersey money you making off my back, my jersey money? Can I get some of that? Can I get a percentage of that? Yeah, but you got to figure out a bowl game. You can go to BCS, that's $17 million, no, 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 no. Can I get a bowl so, so some of that? Well, what, what gives me, what gives me, fellas, is when these cats get out of college, they go to the pros, then they go back to the media and say, oh, I was getting paid while I was in college. Who oh, yeah, they're going to snitch now. Now they're ready to tell the snitch after they done lived a good life. You know, they done lived a good life. Now they want to throw the school under the bus and the other players. You know, and then it's usually those that didn't work out for them in the pros, so now they're going to, you know, exactly. you know, they want to tell. That's the guy who sold SMU out. He got on drugs and tried to blackmail the school, yeah. and since they wouldn't give him no money, he told the story. Exactly. I'm saying, man, yeah. What? That's what he did? Yep. It was a linebacker, play white guy. Li oh, I hate to say that. I mean, it was a ball player, linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> Good rule. I'm going to have to put you on punishment. <laughs> For real, from now on. I didn't say lynch mob. <laughs> 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 All right, brother. All right, brother. All right, All right, All right, All right. Uh, Longhorn. Thanks for calling back in. We'll talk to you later. Hey, y'all uh, just keep bringing up these good topics. I'm going to keep calling. All right, no problem. Take it easy. 
All right, before we move on, we're going to have another word from my sponsor because, frankly, my mouth is dry. I need some water. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Good morning, Detroit oh. Sports Jersey fans. Thanks for joining us at FM 88.1 WHPR. It's a beautiful morning today, Sunday, February 19th, 2012. How would you like to lose a dress size in four weeks? Brian Chan is author of the ebook program called Cookie Fat Loss Method specializes in helping women lose a dress size in four weeks guaranteed without counting calories no restricting foods and no spending hours in the gym he specializes also in teaching by eating cookies chocolates cakes other desserts and exercising little but focused if you never really had any luck with diets calorie counting and personal trainers then definitely check it out as this is for women who are currently struggling to lose their belly fat and drop a dress size in the next four weeks, guaranteed. For more information on Brian's program, www.cookiefatlossmethod.com. That's cookiefatlossmethod.com. There's a free medical discount program called WellCard Health that offers up to 75% discounts on doctor, dental, vision, and prescription services at doctors and pharmacies throughout Detroit, including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 for your free card. A portion of all proceeds generated from this card will be donated to the Red Cross of Southeast Michigan. That's 800-285-5941 to get your card. For people and families with no insurance or with limited insurance, 800-285-5941. Detroit, save money on tickets. Pistons, Tigers, Red Wings. Craigslisttickets.biz has great seats at low prices. Joe Lewis Arena tickets are on sale. For more information, 877-870-3668. Comerica Park tickets now available. For more information, www.craigslisttickets.biz or for more information, 877-870-3668. You are listening to Detroit Sports Jersey live on FM 88.1 WHPR, Power Talk Live Radio, live call-in number 313-868-3688. And now back to host Will and co-host the water cooler guru, Straight Sports Talk, no professionals here. Thank you very much. Before we move any further, I want to uh, congratulate the Red Wings for breaking the record. Um, was that Valentine's night? Was that Tuesday night, 22 in a row? Yeah, but uh, I'm confused. Mm -hmm. They said the record was 21. Then they win the 21. And then uh, I see they got uh, some other team I never heard of before all of a sudden. They got 22 wins. I mean, wh what's going on? So what, they got to break another record? <laughs> uh, I'm confused. What team was this? Why you thumb through the newspaper no, I, I discreetly? <laughs> Evidently, you didn't get your facts straight. While he um, thumbing through the paper, you know, uh, I'm going to give another shout out to Michigan for beating Ohio State. Because evidently the guru, <laughs> he got to read his Sunday morning paper on the air. <laughs> they, they love this segment of the show. <laughs> So they want me to do the old fashioned one. Oh, the old fashioned Right, we don't need computers and <laughs> Andy that. Rooney Day, going right. back to Andy Rooney. Right. <laughs> yeah, it says uh, Boston Bruins from December 3rd, 1929. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Say by the bell. Detroit Sports Jersey, live on the air. Where you calling from? This is the free agent. Oh, uh, good. Detroit, baby. You, you where? I'm calling from downtown Detroit. Okay, what you, you running sure from the police? What right you doing? Here. Should we dial 911? Breaking and entering? What you doing? Ain't nothing open down there today. Is there? What you hey, doing hey, downtown? It's Sunday, it's Sunday baby. Uh, the, the Wings play tonight, actually. Yeah, they play. Yeah, uh, who they play? The, uh, not the Sharks. It, it don't even matter. Yeah, they going to win now. Sharks. But look, that? I was really calling in to give a shout out to Michigan who won the, uh, last night, beating, uh, beating Ohio State. And their own native, Trey Burke, got off on them. Yeah, that was a good game. The guru that. said that they, uh, what you, what did you call it earlier? Uh, an upset. He said it was an upset. I ain't said it was no upset. upset. No, 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 no upset. Thank Michigan, you. Michigan was predicted at the beginning of the season to at least finish second in the Big Ten. So there's no upset. 
Well, when you beat the number six team in the country, that's an upset. Number six? What? Come on, and the Big Ten. This is Big Ten basketball. I understand, but it's still Ohio State. State. Ohio State. And we beat Michigan State. So I mean, what you what you talking? It ain't no. This is a real live race. Well, 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 you, well, you say you beat the last the last news I report I had. The last time y'all played, Michigan State spanked y'all. Exactly. Oh yeah, they, they beat us. But I'm just saying, we we beat them the last three times we played them. So. So what happened the Michigan last time State. you played them? Huh? What happened the last time you played yeah. them? Yeah, they beat us. Oh okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just okay, wondering. They beat us. They beat us. How far you so, think they so gonna go? What I'm saying is. But what I'm saying is with Michigan being tied to second place in the Big Ten right now, it wasn't no upset. That I, happened last I year. agree with you, free agent. How far you think they're going to go in the tournament? I I think they can be in the Elite Eight team. Oh, come oh. on now, Walls. Pump your brakes, free oh. agent. I mean, well, why not? Pump your brakes, man. Why not? Why, why not? No, I, no, you I, tell I, me why they should. Well, why should? Why well, I'm going to say, I'm, one reason I'm going to say because of their rebound. They're weak on the rebound. Right, they're not big. Exactly. I mean, Michigan big, State but killed they, them on the boards. They, but their guard play is good enough to get them to the Elite Eight. Now, I ain't saying they're going to win it. I but, said they're going to good enough to get to the Elite Eight. But um, the Elite Eight is saying a lot. Don't you agree that they got to um, rebound the ball before you put them up there in the... I mean, yeah, you, they got to rebound, but... Guard I mean, that's a key part to a one game, one. rebound. You can't be out-rebounded and win a game. I'm not saying I mean, that it ain't going to happen. Right, but, right about that, but, yeah. but if you look, even if you look in recent history, if, if you got good guards, they can get you to the Elite Eight without without having a, a dominant big man or just being able to rebound. And plus, Michigan, if they shooting that three ball real good, they're going to be tough to beat anyway. Whoa, whoa, so what do they say? You live you by live the three, by the three you, you die, die by, by the three. three. Exactly. Hey, 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 they didn't live by the three. And more die by than live by. <laughs> So you got them going into the Elite Eight? Yeah, I got them making it that far. Make make make, make, make sure you down up with you upload, download, what you call it? Upload, my man. Make Come sure you upload them. this one. Uh, How far you got Michigan State going? They could well, Michigan State, they got a nice team. But they, they can they can make it to the Elite Eight. I mean you can't. Oh, really so you got Michigan both State. Michigan teams going to the yeah, Elite why Eight. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why well, not? I think the experience is going to catch up with Michigan State at the end. The, the strongest conference this Lack year. Lack of. Because they ain't got that experience. The Big Ten is the strongest conference. Lamar Green, I mean, they in the middle. You know, so uh, I'm going to, of course, take my Carolinas to win it all. I can't abandon shit with them, so I'm taking uh, the Tar Heels. Well, I'm still open for debate. No. Uh, <laughs> you see, that's how flip floppers that. do. Okay, well, if you want me to put me on the spot, I'll just say Kentucky now. I'll just say Kentucky. What about that big boy in Kentucky? You think the Pistons can use him? Anthony Davis, ain't that his name? Yeah, you know, ain't that his name, a free agent? Don't, don't curse yeah, him. Yeah, Anthony Davis, yeah. Don't he curse him. Guy. But, but how do you think he'll do with the Pistons? Well, they have a nice front line with him and Craig Monroe. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that'll be that'll be a start of something nice. The guru that um was called the, um don't agree with us. Why? Why not? Guru, no, don't why not? don't curse him <laughs> like that. Why you want to send him to the ten and twenty two Pistons? Hey, hey, you, you see what happened with Kyrie Irving? He got sent to the, the bummest team in the league, and they doing pretty well for themselves right now. And did he? And did he? Uh, <laughs> and they only they only, only really made one game. change, and that was just the point guard. So I mean. <laughs> You you can you can say what you want, but if you get a if you get a player that can help your team gel, even even in New York, they got one player and they ain't, they only lost one game in the last week. Oh, come so I mean, on, me! Come on, hey, you hey, didn't hey, say hey, it. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, I'm not really on his bandwagon, but he's playing nice. He he he's he too much of a turnover machine for me. Hey, free agent, let me ask you a quick quick question before we get out of here. Okay. Michigan got four games left at North at Northwestern, Illinois, and Penn State, and at home against Purdue. How they go? The last oh, four they games. They gonna win all four, though. They gonna win all four. All four. Of them. They'll probably if, go three if, and one. Hey, wait! If they wasn't playing Purdue at home, that was a toss up. But they playing them at home. They Michigan been playing very good at home. I could see them winning that one. But if they was playing them, I say in Purdue, then that that'd be a toss up. You you have to go if you with that one. But since it's at home, I, I all four of them. Okay, then. Well, we're going to hold you to your word, free agent. We appreciate you calling in. We're about to get up out of here, and uh, feel free to join us every Sunday, 10 a.m. Get up out of bed, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got you. All right, later. Somebody down, yeah. down. Give me your last words, um, Guru, before we get up out of here. I want to give a double, double shout-out to the King, 
girls and boys basketball team for winning the city championship. And congratulations to Pershing for being runner-up as the girls and boys, too. And we bring in the state title to Detroit. You can count on that. Pershing or King will bring the trophy back. Matter of fact, what I would love for them to play for it, King and Pershing in the finals. I'm predicting the girls and boys. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today. We're going to get up out of here. Once again, Whitney Houston, rest in peace. Give a shout-out to her. And uh, we'll get back on this Chris, Chris Carter yeah, Randy Moss situation um, next week and, uh, you know, let everybody know our opinion of that. You know, feel free to join us every Sunday, 10 a.m. FM. Try to win some money next FM week. FM 88.1. Uh, we're going to be out of here. I'm your host, uh, Will, with the Water Cooler Guru. Guru. We're about to go shopping to get his tight-fitted <laughs> dress and his high heel shoes until we're next get, week. We're gonna get you some Stand cookies. up, let him see your figure, Guru. <laughs> 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 I'm going on strike, y'all. He can't stand up because of that chain around his <laughs> neck. Until then, we out of here. We love you. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Detroit Sports Jersey. Until next week, same place, same time, Sunday at 10 a.m. on FM 88.1 WHPR Power Talk Live Radio with your host, Will, and co-host, the water cooler guru, live call in number 313-868-3688. Live streaming at FM881WHPR.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Have a great week. FM 88.1 WHPR. The Highland.